Okay, so I I don't generally always know too well or know too good the uh, I guess like the the consensus or the popular opinion on, on Christianity uh, or the Bible, but I I have a sense of it. I guess well, like what churches generally teach or, or say and I uh, I think my take on it is different than, than I hear or it's, it has become different than what I used to uh, think was the common belief or whatever okay hell and heaven okay and, uh, well, the, just the word hell is kind of a, a deep topic in itself. Heaven, I think, is, I mean, that's, there's a lot of details about heaven, but heaven is, is the sky, and above the sky, uh, anything this direction could be called heaven. Um, and from the time of Adam... Adam and Eve, Adam, from from the creation of man until uh, Jesus was crucified, however many years that was, however many generations. Well, I happen to believe that it was 77 generations from Adam to the Son of God. And uh, I'm sure people have different ideas about that. I've, uh, to tell you the truth, I've never actually uh, been interested in trying to study genealogy or, or like, maybe that's not the right word, but uh, to study the generations of, of people uh, that have lived because that's it's very complicated. But I'm not really interested in that because so many other people already have. We have the internet, and we have uh, so many resources that are free uh, that uh, go into detail about some of these studies that people do. And we have a ton of information to consume right now, especially right now. Um, and it's easy to come by this information. It's not... Uh, doesn't cost anything and it doesn't take a whole day you know you, you can learn a lot in a short amount of time uh, on the internet and okay so I think that <coughs> what happened um, concerning heaven and hell or like hell is a hard thing because there's uh, Okay, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. Whatever that means. You know, whatever that looks like. Um, and God said, let there be light. Or, well, before that, okay, there was, there was darkness upon the face of the deep. Okay, darkness. And the deep. That means like an abyss, okay? Like a, 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 a deep sea or an abyss. Um, which gives me the idea of like down. But where's darkness? There's darkness up. So there's darkness on the face of the deep. Well, I've learned that uh, many of the prophets talked about a great hanging sea or the waters above and and it's in Genesis um, many prophets clearly wrote about the waters that are above the heaven or the, above the firmament um, and I think that that's the deep it's darkness uh, when there's no light it's darkness and that there's stars to give light on the earth and the Sun and moon 
But without the sun, moon, and stars, it would just be darkness. So, hell though, hell I think is something, uh, it's, I would say, from the time that Adam uh, and Eve were here until the time when Jesus was here, that there was a place beneath us, beneath our feet, in this ground, like, I don't know if it's in the dirt or whatever, but beneath our feet, there is an up and down in this conversation that, that I'm having with myself here. There's an up and there's a down. And you have the same scenario. There's an up and a down. Everywhere you go, there's an up and a down. Well, hell was down, or, or you could call it Sheol, or a place where uh, Jesus described it in a parable about, uh, and called, he said it was Abraham's bosom. Uh, and there, there was a, it was a two-sided place with a great divide in between, and so nothing from this side could go to this side. And this, these, when someone died, that's where their soul would be taken or, or be placed, um, probably by angels. But it'll be placed there until resurrection. I think the churches believe that, I really don't know what the churches believe, but there's a lot of people that I listen to that, that you know, I, I think are probably more knowledge than I am, um, that uh, point out some things that I, I can't quite agree with, but... Uh, so there's a story of these people that were swallowed up by the earth and went down to Sheol. Okay, so it's clearly down. But this is where I begin to differ with pretty much everyone that I, I uh, learn from. When Jesus was crucified, in, in Matthew 27... I'm not sure where what it says exactly in the other Gospels, but in Matthew 27, um, there's something there that's very clear to me. And I was actually in a live stream with uh, uh, Austin from the Melodome, like probably almost a year ago or something. And both of us, like in the moment, like before we went on the stream, we talked before we went live or whatever, we talked about, uh, it's kind of cool how this happened. It, we talked about the crucifixion and, and I, I, I was looking at Matthew 27 with him. I'm like, what is this? I, and it says that, um, it was like when he gave up the ghost or when he yielded his spirit up, when he died, when Jesus died on, when he was crucified, and he gave his last breath or whatever. All these things happened to nature. There, it, there was darkness during the day for a period of three hours. Um, like from the sixth to the ninth hour. I don't know exactly when that is. But it was clearly during the day. Um, and then there was a great, I think a great earthquake. Or Yeah, and, and all the rocks were rent. And, uh, and then it says something that I think people... It, it changes how you look at everything if you if you consider this differently. Okay, me and Austin were talking and we went read through that or whatever, and, and we're like, "What is this? These are like zombies, like because it says many bodies, like physical bodies, of the saints came up out of their graves and went into the holy city." Okay. So me and Austin are like, that's just weird. We'll talk about it during the stream or whatever. And during the stream, we read it. Uh, and both of us at the very moment that we read it while we were live, we both, a bell went off in our head and, and we were like, both of us said, wait a minute. Wait a minute, we were reading that wrong. 
This is not talking about zombies. This is not talking about people coming up, uh, like, out of their graves. At, at, you know, the dirt comes up and their coffin comes up, whatever. And, and their body, their this skeleton comes out and, and, and walks into the populated city in Jerusalem or it, wherever. That's not what happened. <laughs> they went up into heaven, guys. So, there's a couple things. Who has, who makes a claim from heaven? I have the keys of hell and of death. How did Jesus uh, get to claim that he holds the keys to hell and to death? There's very clear reason why because he went into death into hell that's why that's one of the reasons why he was crucified that's one of the reasons why he was sent here probably the biggest reason why he was sent here <laughs> was to save people from uh, separation from our creator to save us from being separate eternally from our creator and my understanding used to be and this is just me used to be that there was going to be a resurrection because Jesus said this he said I will raise you up on the last day and in my mind I've always said he's very clear there he said the resurrection happens on the last day like the day of the Lord or like the last day that's when the resurrection happens but I failed myself in in simple comprehension of the fact that Jesus said that when he was here while he was alive and then he was crucified and he went down and descended into hell for three days and he resurrected he saved all the righteous souls that were down in Sheol in the heart of the earth that's where he went he descended into the heart of the earth now Enoch, I don't know how this stuff gets tied together. It's the Lord that shows us these things. It's the Holy Spirit or the Spirit of Truth. It's just awesome. Okay. Uh, Enoch, hmm, what chapter? Chapter 10, I believe. Um, something very interesting that Enoch does. He is shown this. Uh, oh, I, I'm going to have to go here. I'll have to continue the video in a moment. So I'm just getting somewhere here. I'll continue in a minute. 